Hey folks, this is going to be a very important video, especially if, if you own a portable power station. Uh, and the reason I'm talking about this is because a lot of people, they get their portable power station as well as the solar panels. There's a big difference in solar panels, and some people may not be aware, and they're kind of throwing their money out the window. Most of the solar panels that you get with your portable power stations are what they're going to be called monofacial. Now the one that I'm going to be specifically talking about that was brought to my attention uh, and sent to me by EcoFlow is called a bifacial. Now to simplify this in let's say layman's terms to make it more easier to digest is basically monofacial means one-sided and bifacial means dual-sided. Uh, and this is going to present you with the ability to charge your portable power station faster and more efficient by using a bifacial solar panel. What solar panel does is it takes the, I think it's called the photovoltaic side, which is your side with your solar panel on it, and take from the sun and convert that into energy to charge your portable power station. Bifacial panels can actually produce 27% more power than a monofacial panel. So I'm going to show you kind of a demonstration. I went and took out a, uh, a 200 watt solar panel and the EcoFlow 220, which it's the closest thing that I could get to kind of give you an example on how it works. And I'm going to show you uh, basically in a real world, real world situation how the bifacial by EcoFlow, the 220, outperforms a single 200 watt. Also, what's very, I'm going to say, uh, beneficial to the EcoFlow design is it's smaller and lighter but also produces a lot more power. On the front side of the EcoFlow uh, solar panel, you get about 220 watts. Uh, on the rear side, basically, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, you pick up the ambient light, which is capable of up to about 155 watts. So the combination of the two is gonna make that solar panel more efficient and faster at charging your portable power station. Now you're gonna ask me, why is this so important, Gray? Well, in an emergency, in a hurricane situation or something that presents itself in disaster preparedness, you need something that's going to charge this unit as fast as possible. If you don't have access to a, let's say, a gas generator and you're dependent on that solar panel, you want to buy and use the most efficient solar panel that you can possibly use. Uh, specifically, if you need that thing for, if you need your portable power station for something like a CPAP machine uh, or a small refrigerator to keep your insulin cold, can you see how this is very important? Uh, and I feel that I wanted to share this with the community uh, as it was brought to me and I've been learning about the differences between solar panels and why some are better than others. And I wanted to share this with you, the community, so that moving forward down the road, if you end up buying a full-size solar panel that goes with your uh, portable power station, you're going to be looking at stuff like weight, uh, you know, the power efficiency or energy efficiency ratio, uh, and so on and so forth. And another thing that kind of surprised me about the EcoFlow solar panel, it has an IP68 uh, rating. So it can get wet, it can be raining, uh, it can be pouring down on this thing. Uh, and kind of go over and just kind of take a quick look at the two different panels that I'm using. One is going to be the EcoFlow and the other one's going to be a different brand. And I'm going to plug both of them into the EcoFlow Delta 2 uh, that I have to kind of show you how they work uh, different from each other and how one outperforms the other. Uh, so hopefully uh, you'll uh, learn something from this aspect and when you go to make a purchase down the road for a solar panel for your device, uh, this will help you make the right decision. All right, so we're gonna compare this panel to the EcoFlow panel, which is 220, the other panel's 200. Uh, this is the Delta Pro 2, uh, and let's compare the efficiency of both panels uh, in this video. Now, first we have the competitor panel, which is a 200 watt monofacial panel. Uh, let's see what it's doing, and it is cloudy and kind of partly sunny, to kind of give you an idea, uh, we can see it's floating around between 50 to 60, I would say. And then we're going to move on to the next panel, which is the EcoFlow panel, which is the bifacial panel. Uh, and let's see how that one is reacting in the same environment. Again, it's partly cloudy uh, and partly sunny. It depends. And uh, look at the major difference, folks. This thing is up to 240, 243. Uh, and you can see it's just kind of going up and down. It'll bounce around a little bit, depending on the cloud cover. But all in all, it is tremendously outperforming the competitor's panel. That being said, 
let's kind of give an idea of why and what the difference of this panel is. So like I said, uh, you can see how you can kind of almost see through this, and this is what they call the bifacial, uh, because it's a panel on both sides. So you have 220 on one side, 155, which is picking up the ambient light from the rear, uh, which kind of gives you that extra uh, energy efficiency rating. Uh, and you can see how it's working well on the Delta Pro 2. Now, if we move over to the next panel and we kind of look at the competitor panel, which is a monofacial panel, uh, we can go to the back and you can see it's just front-sided here. In the back, it's just going to be, you know, your covering or whatnot. So it's single-sided and you can see the main difference in the two. So that's kind of a quick overview of the two. Uh, we're going to go ahead and bounce back to me uh, and discuss this a little bit further. All right, so now that you kind of saw that me out in the field and kind of using both panels, did you see the difference in the way the EcoFlow solar panel worked versus the other solar panel? Now, the other solar panel is only rated at 200 watts, and the EcoFlow is rated at 220, but you can kind of get to see the difference in the way that the other solar panel was uh, working and the way it was charging. They were both faced the same direction with the same environment, the same type of cloudy, partly cloudy skies, and you see how effective that the EcoFlow solar panel was. So from my perspective, if I need a solar panel to charge my portable power station, I'm going to want to buy or use the most effective solar panel that's gonna be beneficial to me in an emergency. Uh, and this is why I wanted to make this little kind of short but quick video, an informative video, to kind of help you guys out there because it's something that we don't talk about a lot. We'll get a portable power station, we'll get the solar panel with it, we throw it together, we show how it works a little bit, we kind of go over the specifications, but a lot of times we don't focus in on the solar aspect or the panel that comes with it and what it's capable of. Now, down the road, I got this uh, another thing that I want to show you guys uh, by another company that's quite interesting, something that can be super compact and portable, uh, but we'll talk about that in a later video. So hopefully, uh, maybe you picked up some information today, and if you did, could you hit that thumbs up button? And then if you're new here, I wouldn't mind if you get hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell for lots of great videos that we have on the channel. I truly appreciate every single one of you guys, and thanks for listening and stopping by and watching this video. Other than that, folks, remember, you are not alone. This is Gray Man. I'm out. I'll see you guys in a rebound, and God bless.